The history of accounting is deeply intertwined with the development of human civilization, evolving over millennia to meet the needs of growing trade, governance, and transparency in financial activities from the earliest days of recorded history to the modern digital era. Accounting has played a pivotal role in the management of economies, businesses, and public finance. During ancient civilization, pre-15th century, accounting practices dates back to ancient Mesopotamia around 3000 BC, where basic forms of record-keeping emerged to track agricultural yields taxes, and trade. These transactions were etched onto clay tablets, providing the first known examples of financial documentation. Similarly, in ancient Egypt, scribes meticulously recorded the kingdom's wealth, tracking tax collections and agricultural production to ensure the equitable distribution of resources. In ancient Greece and Rome, accounting became more sophisticated as trade and commerce expanded. Merchants kept detailed records of their transactions, while the Roman Empire employed accounting systems to manage its vast public finances, including taxes, government expenditures, and military spending. This ancient accounting system laid the groundwork for financial oversight, ensuring that resources were properly allocated and managed in both commercial and governmental settings. During Middle Ages, as trade expanded, particularly along newly established routes across Europe, there was an increasing demand for more advanced accounting methods. Italian merchants, especially in Venice, played a critical role in the development of accounting. By the 14th century, they had formalized the double-entry bookkeeping system, a revolutionary advancement in accounting. Luca Pacioli, an Italian mathematician, described the double-entry system in his 1494 work, Summa de Arithmetica, Geometria Proportioni et Proportionalita. This method of accounting where every transaction is recorded in two places, debits and credits, became the foundation of modern accounting. Pacioli's work not only influenced the practice of accounting but also established it as an essential tool for merchants and financial professionals, giving rise to more organized financial management in business and trade. The Renaissance period, 14th to 17th centuries, saw tremendous growth in commerce, banking, and international trade, particularly in Italy and Netherlands. This economic expansion necessitated a reliable system for maintaining financial records, the double-entry bookkeeping system developed during this time was widely adopted as capitalism flourished. Accounting became indispensable to large-scale enterprises, particularly joint stock companies like the British East India Company whose success depended on precise financial tracking. The evolving complexity of business, particularly in trading companies, heightened the need for effective accounting systems to monitor profits, losses, and overall financial health. This era also saw the early signs of standardization as business across Europe began to rely on structured accounting principles. The Industrial Revolution spanning from the late 18th to 19th 19th century marked a period of dramatic economic transformation. The rise of factories, mass production, and global trade created large complex organizations, leading to an increased demand for detailed and reliable accounting. Businesses needed to track production costs, profitability, and financial stability more rigorously than ever before. The expansion of industries brought with it a growing need for standardized accounting practices.
Auditing also gained importance during this period as a method to verify the accuracy of financial records, ensuring that businesses remain transparent and accountable in their dealings. Accounting became critical for managing the increasing scale of industrial enterprises and as businesses grew, so did the complexity of financial reporting and oversight. The 20th century witnessed the professionalization of accounting. In 1887, the American Institute of Accountants was established, which later became the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, or ICPA, setting ethical standards and guidelines for the profession. This period also saw the formation of generally accepted accounting principles, or GAAP, particularly in the aftermath of the Great Depression in the 1930s. The establishment of the Securities and Exchange Commission, or SEC, in the U.S. aimed to regulate financial reporting and ensure transparency in financial markets. The 21st century brought further advancements with the global adoption and international financial reporting standards or IFRS, ensuring a unified approach to accounting across borders. The rise of computerized and cloud-based accounting systems revolutionized the profession, allowing for faster, more accurate, and scalable financial management. Additionally, fields such as forensic accounting and environmental accounting have grown in response to corporate scandals and the increasing focus on sustainability and climate concerns. The history of accounting reflects the evolution of human societies from ancient agrarian economies to modern global enterprises. As trade, commerce, and governance have expanded, so too has the complexity and importance of accounting. Today, accounting stands as a crucial profession that ensures the financial transparency and integrity of business, governments, and economies around the world. The history of accounting in the Philippines reflects the country's broader economic, cultural, and political transformations shaped by colonization, globalization, and technological advancements. Accounting practices evolved alongside the country's development, influenced first by the Spanish and later by the American colonizers both of whom introduced systematic record-keeping methods that would lay the foundation for the modern accounting profession in the Philippines. Before the Spanish colonization, early Filipinos engaged in trade with neighboring regions such as China and Southeast Asia. Although there was no formal accounting system, barter was common and traders used simple methods to track exchanges. Financial record keeping was minimal, relying on informal agreements and trust. The introduction of Western style accounting began with the arrival of the Spaniards in the 16th century. They brought systematic record keeping practices and established formal taxation systems to control revenues from the colony. The Galleon trade between Manila and Acapulco, a significant source of economic activity, relied on Spanish accounting methods which were heavily influenced by Roman and Italian traditions, including early forms of bookkeeping. Additionally, religious institutions such as the Catholic Church maintained detailed financial records of their activities, particularly in managing donations and land holdings. These Spanish-introduced practices became the foundation of formal accounting in the Philippines. The American occupation in 1898 marked a new era for accounting in the Philippines. The introduction of the English language and modern business practices revolutionized the country's economic landscape. One of the most significant developments during this period was the establishment of the Bureau of Internal Revenue in 1923. The BIR implemented 
the Internal Revenue Code, which formalized taxation and elevated tax accounting as the key aspect of the profession. This reflected the growing importance of accounting for the government and business. During this time, American companies operating in the Philippines introduced generally accepted accounting principles or GAAP, which had become standard in the United States as American industries flourished. The demand for formally trained accountants increased, leading to the establishment of accounting programs in local educational institutions. After gaining independence from the United States in 1946, the Philippines saw significant growth in the accounting profession. A key milestone was the founding of the Philippine Institute of Certified Public Accountants, or PICPA, in 1929. Prior to independence, PICPA played an essential role in regulating and promoting the accounting profession, setting standards for education, ethics, and practice. With the growing complexity of business and government operations, the Certified Public Accountant Licensure Exam was instituted. This ensured that accountants in the Philippines possessed the necessary qualifications and adhered to a high level of professionalism. The profession gained legal recognition and authority in 1975 through Presidential Decree No. 692, which formalized the regulation of accounting practice. This decree strengthened the role of PICPA and mandated the licensing of CPAs further ensuring the profession's integrity and standards. The late 20th century and early 21st centuries saw significant changes in the accounting landscape in the Philippines. The country embraced international accounting standards, particularly International Financial Reporting Standards or IFRS, aligning its practices with global norms to facilitate international trade and investment. Many Philippine companies, especially those listed on the Philippine Stock Exchange or PSE or involved in global commerce, were required to adopt these standards to ensure transparency and comparability of financial information. The regulation of the profession also advanced with the establishment of the Board of Accountancy or BOA under the Professional Regulation Commission or PRC. The BOA oversees the licensure and conduct of CPAs, ensuring that accountants uphold ethical standards and remain updated on the latest developments in accounting practices. Today, the accounting profession in the Philippines is highly regulated, with CPAs playing critical roles across various sectors, from public practice to private corporations and government agencies. The profession continues to evolve, incorporating modern technologies such as computerized accounting systems, cloud-based solutions, and forensic accounting to meet the demands of an increasingly complex business environment. The evolution of accounting in the Philippines mirrors the country's political and economic shifts. Beginning with simple barter systems and pre-colonial times to the sophisticated technology-driven practices of today, the Spanish introduced formal record-keeping and taxation, which later modernized by the Americans with the introduction of GAAP and business education. Post-independence and establishment of PICPA and the formal regulation of the accounting profession solidified the status of accountants as essential contributors to economic management. Today, Filipino accountants adhere to both local and international standards, ensuring that the profession remains robust and adaptable to the challenges of globalization and technological change. As business and financial systems become more complex, the role of accounting in providing accurate and reliable financial information remains as crucial as ever.